YouTube. Hope everyone's having a great day. It's Speed Glitch, and I'm coming to you guys with another banger, man. As y'all boys can see, man, by the thumbnail and the title of today's fire video. And as highly requested, a lot of y'all from my mo my last video, my most recent video, whatnot, before this video will drop. Um, a lot of y'all been hitting me up trying to uh, have me drop another updated, you know what I'm saying, tutorial on the uh, Irish Flames, aka the Green Goblin script. So yeah, man, I had to come through, had to get y'all boys this video. Um, it's a day later than I wanted to post it, but oh well, man. It's at least it's out for y'all boys man now. It's out for y'all. But anyways, man I'm not gonna do too much talking the link to the script will be in the, the discord and the discord will be in the description down below Also, my Twitter will be there too. hit me up on Twitter with any questions follow my Twitter as well join the discord man We got a family in there um, to Help each other out in there all that good stuff man real quick man comment down below Would you guys want me to start something that where I go live on discord and like go more in depth on how to use the Zen scripts on 2K. I could do that like certain days at certain times and I uh, and just go live, like start streaming on Discord for everyone in the Discord and it'd be like live and you guys can ask questions in there, stuff like that. I feel like that would be a good idea for a lot of you guys that are struggling. But anyways, man, enough of the talking. I'm gonna get straight to the mic court where you set up the script. And yeah, man, let's get into it, man. Download the script, put it on, and let's let's get the script going. Let's go. All right, y'all boys, man. So put the script on. Go ahead and put the script on. I'm putting it on myself. You'll see Green Goblin, 2K22 Irish Flames. So now we have the script on, of course. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and just call for a ball. I'm going to move my thing out of the way, my little speed overlay out of the way just for this video. Um, we'll go put it right there. There we go. Just gonna hold, now you're just going to hold square. That's all you're going to do. So you see I'm getting slightly late. So that was late. So you guys see the value is off. Um, that's what it's supposed to do though. It's not gonna automatically you're not gonna just plug it in and be able to just you know what I'm saying be green. That's just late. You feel me? Uh, I'll do it again one more time Wait, you see that's what it's gonna be. I don't even know how I just made that but you guys see you got late So now what we're gonna do I'm just gonna go a little step by step um, we're gonna, Once again the catch and shoot real quick the catch and shoot is timed by yourself So we're not gonna worry about the catch and shoot so go like this we're gonna go to instructions here So we, this is I have it opened right here. So it he's on Xbox. So don't get it twisted. Don't get it mess, messed up. When he says change the values right here with X, it's square for us us PlayStation people. For Xbox, of course, you use X. And, of course, this this um, script does have dribble moves, so that's a plus for you guys that like some... It has some dribble moves. The half, spin and, the half spin and the spin back for you guys that do like some dribble moves. But, yeah, man. So, to hit moving shots, you hold R2, RT and X. On Xbox, that's R2 and square. Um, right here, it says hold or tap. I always hold. Hold, hold square or X. Square for PlayStation, X for Xbox. To shoot regular and catch and shoot jumpers. Um, I personally don't use it for catch and shoot. I like timing it myself, which you're able to do with this script. But first of all, what we're gonna do to change the jumper, here's here's all the jumpers. To change all the jumpers right here. Um, starting right here. This is to change the jumpers right here. Um, so we're getting late. So when I'm shooting, I was getting late. So what you wanna do to adjust it, I'm gonna go square and D-pad down. I wanna decrease the value because I'm getting late. I wanna go down in value. If I'm getting early, I wanna go up in value. But I'm, I'm getting late, so I'm going to go down in value. So I'm going to hold square instead of X. And I'm going to tap the D-pad um, down the D -pad down to go uh, minus 5 right here. If we see, So I'm going to go square and D-pad down. So go ahead, put this back. So I'm, I'm going to go hold square and D-pad down. You'll hear it vibrate. I'm going to do it a few times because it's getting late. I'm going to spam it for a few. All right, now I'm going to call for ball and see what I get. I just spammed it a few times. I just got green. So you guys see, I literally just spammed it a few times. I'll, I'll go ahead and keep testing real quick i'm just holding square that's it I'll, I'll put it closer to my mic so you guys can hear it hold it let go you can't even hear it i'm calling for the ball again i'm gonna hold it again hold it let go so slightly late i got slightly late there so i just adjusted it a bunch i clicked down on the d-pad a bunch of times to go down so you, i'm gonna did i just get slightly late i think it was slightly late so I, that means i do have to adjust even more so i got slightly late i'm gonna go down in value even more because if i'm not mistaken i just got slightly late. i might have i might have got slightly early i don't know but i think i got slightly late so what i'm gonna do is go, to, go down again another another uh five so i went square and deep head down it's for the jump shot value chicken let's go so it doesn't say the actual value on your zen but i'll go ahead and tell you guys how to we'll, we'll go ahead and save it at the very end so slightly late again that's okay i'll go i'm gonna go deep head down so I went square and D-pad down. So you see right here, slightly late still. So I'm still getting slightly late. Square, D-pad down. So I just caught it and shoot on accident. I went square and D-pad down. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it again. There we go, that's a green. It, it'll vibrate when it, when it adjusts the value, you feel me? 
So we'll go ahead and do some dribble moves. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That's off. That's a little animation. I hate when I get that. When it like doesn't set my feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. For y'all that know how to quick stop, shoot off the quick stop. It's very easy to it'll green off the quick stop every time. Or shoot off one of these. Green bean. Come on. So I think I got the value. You know what I'm saying? That's a jumper value. That's a jumper value. So you're fine with the jumper now. For catch and shoot, once again, catch and shoot is just you timing it yourself. Um so anyways, man. Um, go ahead and get onto the fade value. So we look back at the script. So that's a catch. That, that's the jumper value. It doesn't actually say your value, but we'll go ahead and save both the jumper and the fade value. With the, there's a saving option. We'll go ahead and do that when we, uh, you know, what I'm saying when we uh, finish getting the fade value. My fault. I was, I was, I was lost the train of thought. So when we finish getting the fade value, we'll have the jumper and fade value, and we'll go ahead and save both those values on the script. So right here, we go back here. We see if the fade value is right here. RT. The RT and D-pad is all how to how to change the uh, so that'd be R2 on PlayStation. R2 and the D-pad is to change the the fade value. So I'm gonna go ahead and, to shoot fades R2 and square. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold R2, then hold square. Now while I'm still holding R2, so I got slightly late. So that means of course I'll have to adjust it going down because I want if I'm getting slightly early, I'm gonna go up, slightly late going down. Yep, slightly late. So I'm gonna hold R2, D-pad down. Do it a few times. It will vibrate. You'll feel it vibrate. Um, your controller should vibrate at least. I did not mean to shoot that. I still got slightly late, so I'm gonna have to adjust even more. I'm getting slightly late still. No worries. I'll go ahead and just adjust to it. Slightly late. R2 D pad down. Keep keep it vibrating. It'll keep vibrating when you do. Go again. I'm gonna go, ahead and go to the corner again. I'm gonna go down even more. I'm gonna keep going down a few, spamming it. It might take a second for you guys to get it fully adjusted. So there we go. There's a green. There's a green for y'all boys. R2 and square. Just hold, just hold it R2 and then hold it square while I'm still holding R2. R2, hold it square. Green. There you guys go, man. It's really easy to use. Very simple. I know a lot of y'all say it doesn't work in park, but look at green. But you guys just don't. I think you guys just get it mixed up, like the shots to shoot. That's why I want to start going live on Discord certain nights for you guys and just like answer any questions and just show you guys how to correctly use it even more, more in depth. Look at that creamy. There's a kid. There's a normal shot. I like to just test the normal shot in the fade right before I put it into online mode. There's a normal shot green. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot one more fade, and that should be all good, man. I'll go ahead, another fade. There we go. That's green. So yeah, I'm good to go, man. So let's look back at the script again. So right here we see the very end. To go to online mode. To go to online mode. So if you want to go to online mode, like which I will, most of you guys come here to do, menu and uh, up D pad. It'll put it up 150 for online mode. So what? So what you want to do? For, for Xbox, it's menu. For PlayStation, it's options. Op options and D-pad up. For for uh, Xbox, it's menu and D-pad down to go offline. Options and D-pad down um, to go offline as well. So offline is options, D-pad down. Um, and on Xbox, that's menu, D-pad down to go offline. So we want to go online. We found the offline values already. We're going to go offline right now. So I'm going to hit options, D-pad up, like it says. And you will feel you'll feel vibration. You don't see you don't see the you won't see the uh, you know what I'm saying you won't see the values on your screen. But go ahead and this this is the final step, the last and final step. So now you're ready to go to park. You wanna you wanna save the values. L T R T and menu. So that's that's literally that's literally L two R two and options on PlayStation. L two R two and options on PlayStation. So I'm gonna do that right now. L two R two options you will feel vibration so now your values have, have saved so i just saved my values as my online value so now if i try to go into my court if you see i try to go into my court and shoot i'll get early they're very early because it's set to online mode right now see look i'm holding score all the way down very late that's what i, mean. I didn't mean to say very early very late because my values adjusted really high hold square very late you see i'm just holding square that's it because it's, it's adjusted to online mode so that's the difference between offline and online mode man so yeah, man, that's it for the video, man. I just want to make a updated tutorial for y'all boys, man. If you guys are new, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys want to see more, man. And sub up. We're on the big road. We're on this road to this big 8K. I appreciate all my supporters, man. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.